I almost started a war on my SMP population craft. Let me show you what that implies. This entire escapade involves bases being blown up, secret bases, and even a member getting banned. All this and more in today's episode of Population Craft. But first, we have to handle something else. Well, this is embarrassing. I died and lost almost all of my stuff. So now I have to do the painful task of replacing it all. This involves trading with Jake's villagers a little. Oh, okay, a, a lot. Then going to the Enderman farm to get levels to enchant it all. And that takes care of that. Now let's get on with this war business. This all started with a fake SMP. Keep in mind that this is not population craft. This fake SMP was disguised as an SMP that I had once been a part of, whatever craft. If you want to know more about whatever craft, I actually made a video on it, so feel free to check that out. Anyways, whatever craft is run by two people. Bram, whose username is Bramster111, and Seth, whose Minecraft name is It's Sethy Boy. These guys also were the ones who dumped us on us on this fake SMP. The Savage Narwhal, or Jake, and I got on this SMP thinking this was real. The Savage Narwhal even streamed this because we thought that this was a legit SMP. Anyways, we played this SMP and it did not go well, which incidentally wasn't that bad considering that this was fake anyways. Jake, I'm dying. I, I like how- Jake, help me! <laughs> uh, Jake fell in a ravine and- I was at half a heart. At the end of this endeavor, though, Bram revealed the truth about this fake server. Oh, I forgot this. You might be a little mad at me. My first video that I'm going to post to my channel isn't going to be a new Whatever Craft episode. Okay. It's going to be I started the coolest war ever on Population Craft. This was all a decoy. That was Why? This isn't a real server. That's right, this was a decoy to start a war on my server. What you're probably assuming happened is that Seth or Bram logged on to PopMC while we were on this fake server and blew stuff up. But that's not what actually happened. In fact, I still don't know why they made this decoy. See, nobody got on during the time that Jake and I were on. In fact, I think the only real thing we got out of this is that we now knew that Bram wanted to start a war. Anyways, later I was building something with Miles, or Mac Jedi 18 when not only Bram, but Seth too logged on. Then the weirdest things started happening, and in the true me fashion, I, I don't, don't have, have footage, footage for, for any, any of, it. of it. So I'm gonna improvise in the only way I know how. Both Seth and Bram started texting me. First, Seth texted me and asked me if I wanted to start a war against Bram. Needless to say, I was downright confused. Seth and Bram are good friends, and Bram is even the reason that Seth joined Pop MC in the first place. So why would Seth want to start a war against Bram? I asked him why. He said that Bram had been doing some shady things, blah 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 blah. Would you like to start a war against Bram? I didn't believe him, and I said and I told Miles this, and that I wasn't going to do it, but I wanted to see what resulted from this. So I told Seth, maybe. Now considering Bram had wasted an hour of my time the day before on a decoy server, why didn't I say yes? Let me explain. While I was texting Seth, Bram texted me and me if I wanted to start a war against Seth. What was happening? I mean, Bram and Seth are good friends, like I said a minute ago, so why would they want to start wars against each other? I also said maybe to him. That's when Bram said something shocking. Bram told me that he somehow had access to the server console and was able to see the whispers on the server, which is how Seth and I were conversing via whispers. I talked to him some more and apparently he did know that I had been with whispering to Seth. But wait, something doesn't add up. I said earlier that I had whispered to Miles that I was just playing along with the both of them. So if Bram had seen that, why would he be asking to start a war with him? There was only one logical answer that made sense. Bram and Seth actually were in cahoots. It all made sense now. Seth had been texting Bram all the things that I was saying to Seth. But why would they do this? One simple reason. War. I told them both no to their war requests, and this led them to do something devastating. 
Later that night, I saw that Bram and Seth were both at my base, and considering what had happened just earlier that day, I was very suspicious of them. I texted them, and maybe lied to them, making them get off for a split second. While they got off, I got on and hid. Then I used a free cam mod that I had to spy on what they were doing when they got back on. They were placing TNT. By the time I had noticed, it was too late. They blew up everything I owned. Luckily though, I do have the footage for this. Yeah. Now, this act broke almost every single rule we had on Pop MC. More bannable offenses than I could count, which isn't really saying that much now that I'm being perfectly honest. But I didn't ban them. But why? Now, while all the other members were begging me to ban Seth and Bram, I didn't. I don't really know why, I just, I just didn't. While I was having connection issues getting on the server and on voice chat calls, Jake, Miles, Seth, and Bram all had a meeting. While war wasn't starting necessarily, a couple of things were happening. First, everyone would be preparing for war in the covering weeks. Everyone would be building secret bases and getting a lot of valuable resources just in case war did break out. Next, Jake and Miles were going to become mercenaries. But what about me? Well, like usual, I'm stuck in the middle of it all. You can't imagine how happy I am about all of this. The next day, Bram gave me access to all of his farms because he did feel bad about blowing up my base. Now, while this was nice, he quickly revoked access to all the farms the next day. For reasons so stupid, I'm not even going to explain them. Luckily, later, I was able to regain access to the raid farm through Miles. But more on that later. These coming up weeks were perhaps my most productive weeks on Pop MC in a long time. I got stacked with totems, tons of potions, weapons, and other things. I also got my first beacon and my first ender chest. I was prepared. Now we could move on, but here's just a 20 second montage of me getting stuff. Next up, the Ender Dragon. Now, I had begged Miles all that week, who was the co-owner of a raid farm, to give me access to the farm. And eventually, he had proposed a deal. He needed Dragon's Breath, and if you don't know what that is, you get it by picking up the poison that the Ender Dragon shoots at you when you fight him. Dragon's Breath can be useful for brewing, among other things. I said yes to the deal, and we got to work. Now, before we go over the Ender Dragon fight, I want to explain why I would go for all this trouble for access to a farm. But this isn't a normal farm. This farm gives you access to tons of totems, emeralds, and other various items that are very useful. Anyway, let's get to the fight. Oh, it's working! attacking me no I was at half a heart I was at half a heart yeah let's go <laughs> in the end see what I did there I ended up getting more dragon's breath than he had asked for so in return he gave me diamonds and a good set of gar armor as well I was prepared for war while we are nearing the end of the episode, there's one more thing I need to cover. As you've probably noticed, Bram has done a lot of shady things in and out of this episode. Not only that, but he continued to do more shady things after blowing up my base. So eventually, I had to ban him. I gave him a choice. Either he would have to be nicer to the community and not do things like blowing up bases, or he would have to be banned until he wanted to act nicer. And he chose banishment. banishment. Gosh, that felt weird to say. Well, guys, that's the end of this episode. A lot has happened, and I have a feeling that a lot has yet to happen. But until then, please consider liking and subscribing. Anyways, thanks for watching. Peace.